Hello everyone, uh, today I'll tell you how you can create self loops uh, and little tricks with it. So there's a editable body uh, on a cylinder and what I'll do is I'll just create, I'll click here on the ribbon bar, swift tools, I'll create a loop and then I'll right click to remove it. Now the edges has been uh, created and it's connected. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just select a portion of it a little bit uh, like this and uh, maybe not so much maybe it's this okay and then i'll just uh, move it down like this now if i want to uh, do the same thing i want to create a loop here uh, down below uh, what it will do is it will f follow the topology and it uh, if we move towards it it will uh, follow the topology of this line and if we go down it will follow the topology of the line below it uh, the loop below it but it never really becomes flat i mean it never really becomes exactly like the loop above or below it so what we can do is we can just like click anywhere in the middle then press ctrl and alt on the keyboard while holding that now if we move about the mouse it will remain like that so all you have to do is click again and just move it up or down now if you move halfway through up it will become exactly like the loop that's above it and if you go halfway down it will become exactly like the loop that's below it let go of the mouse and let go of your alt and control button and there you have it right click to deselect swift loop and you have this now if you want to move this up you can just do so using the transform tools so this is a neat little trick now if you want to say that hey look uh, i have this uh, thing i have you know maybe maybe it's it's a small or whatever you know it's it's like this and uh let me just So you know I have something like this and how can I move it so what you can do is you can just create a line like this and then make it straight now 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 if I were to go straight up with the transform tool it would make a mess like this so we don't want that what we'll do is uh, click on constraint constraints edge constraints and then move up and it will follow the line smoothly so there you go now we can do the same on top and